Hello fellow engineers and welcome to Infra, the game I get to do my day job in a game. What? Why is this a game? <laughs> no, this is really cool. This is literally like a civil engineering simulator. So let's see how realistic it is. Oh look. Okay, so we're starting in a conference room. Quite nice. There's this bald dude who seems to be in charge, head of the table. Although I'm the other end of the table, so maybe I'm also in charge. There's some other colleagues. Morning, everyone. Morning. Good morning, boss. Morning, boss. Okay, so bald dude is saying we've got some buildings to survey, some site visits going on later. Mark, why don't you go ahead and start the presentation? Presentation? Uh, wait, what? Um, okay, okay, all right. Uh, okay, so today we're going to be doing the pre-inspection briefing. Uh, we're going to be assessing the state of key water-related infrastructure in the Stolberg region. Oh. Feeling sleepy, Mark? No, I, I was... Time to wake up and start the presentation. Yeah, I, I had started. That was the start of my presentation. Like, I thought you were all listening and... Mark? Yeah? I know you hate early mornings, but seriously, we have work to do. I, I literally was, like... If you just let me carry on, I'll have... Uh, right. So as I was saying before, this Mark. is... Yeah. All right. A quick recap oh. of the situation. You, you don't want me to... Okay, that was awkward. What are you looking at? Oh, look, there's a small pen on my table. Very dusty in this room. A lot of dust floating about. Mark, you can go ahead. Get your gear from upstairs. And you can leave when you're ready. I still have a few things to go over with Steve, Carl, and Amit. Oh, so I've just been kicked out of the meeting. Okay, well that was a typical sort of consultancy meeting. Uh, terrible jokes, me being unprepared, being given a shitload of work to do. Basically, I've got to go to a dam and uh, inspect some stuff. You're right, mate. Ready? <laughs> no, he's, he's not in the mood today. He's got quite a lot of work on old, uh, old Dave over there. Uh, anyway, back to my office. So this is quite a flush consultancy. Oh God. What are these lights? Bloody architect designed these, isn't he? Look, it matches the frosting on the glass. Oh, God. I hate them. I hate them. Yep, as usual, the uh, company's cheaped out and we haven't got Windows 8. We've got Viewports 8. Oh, God. Oh, a fish tank. And two very rare specimens over there. Feeling all right there, Mark? Hey, you're right, John. What are you working on? Got a drawing on there, yeah. What's that? The, the world's strongest beer. John, at least try and hide your, uh, your addiction. You're in work, man. This is a very... Oh, God, what is that? This is literally how most engineers work. We just code in green and black matrix-style coding on our Pear Mac computers. Now, you can see she's she's oblivious I'm even here. I could literally... I could nick a can of coke off her. I could probably pull a ponytail. She wouldn't even know. She's in the engineering zone. Very dangerous. We'll just back away from that. That's a bit... All right, so it looks like no one can see me. So I'm just going to sneak into here pick up this small pen. I'm just gonna... <laughs> As we were. So yes, we work for the National Consulting Group, who has this terrible slogan that's in a way that doesn't even make sense. That They probably paid loads of money to a designer to come up with. It took me about five minutes to work out, but it says, excelling at engineering. Terrible, but realistic. It's not like the tunnels right. Oh, you alright, guys? Collapse. What's happening? Oh, I... Sorry, were you... I interrupted something. Uh, <laughs> there's a lot of shifty eye movement going. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm just gonna back away. Sorry to disturb. Still just silence. Well, that was awkward. So bloody hell, this is posh, isn't it? Look at this. This can't be a proper engineering consultancy. And we've got to be hiring the building from like lawyers or something. <laughs> uh, oh my God, have we got a sorter? I mean, yeah, this is, if you want to get into engineering guys, this is pretty, Pretty typical of a normal office block. Little canteen area down there, and then just go up into a private sauna, obviously. Uh, get showered first, obviously. Don't want to be stinking in there. Uh, and, and we have barbecues and crates of beers and showers ready to go. Oh, yeah, sorry. I, I, I forgot the sauna was this way. The sa Here's the sauna. Here's the sauna, right? So usually after, I don't know, every, every few meetings, we probably gather in here. We'll butt naked and uh, get sweaty together because this it's good for team bonding it's good for morale oh we're by a river that's a big ass boat look at that all right we'll take the lift we're on floor eight we're going to floor seven apparently i just came from floor seven but okay i wonder if these guys have started talking yet feeling all right there mark yep 
thanks mate, I'm feeling fine. How about you guys? Because you sort of just stopped talking for about 20 minutes. Uh, you weren't talking about me, were you? <laughs> Never mind. Alright, so we're going to take the fire exit down. Oh. Okay, we're not we're not going to get the old heart rate going. We're going to use the elevator and uh, <laughs> and be the typical office worker that hates any form of exercise. So, where are you? Number seven. So we want to go to, I guess, the bottom. No, we want to go up to floor eight, where we just came from. Ah, floor eight. Or home, as I like to call it. Bloody, you should have seen this the other day. Bloody Kyle. Let's go for a quick wires. Oh, I have no shadow. I don't exist. That's terrifying. Anyway, so this is my sort of office area. Uh, this is our little kitchen. Kitchenette, as we like to call it. Bloody, I bet that's Carol. She's always leaving her dirty dishes about. Does my head in. Right, this is my office over here. So I am formerly known as Engineer Siltanen. But uh, when in doubt, just call me Muck. Ah, door opens outwards. I forgot about that. Anyway, so this is my lovely office. Ooh. Uh, someone gladly wrote on this A3 bit of paper in huge writing. Uh, my to-do list. So I got to pick up flashlight, camera, helmet, keys from reception, and the boss. <laughs> I'm not taking the boss with me. I think it's from the boss. Uh, and they left the company car. Sweet. So camera, keys... Where did I leave my flashlight and helmet? I can't remember. Ah, oh, I think it was in this cupboard. Yeah. Helmet. Flashlight. Sorted. And here's just a little overview of what I'm going to be doing today. So we're going to the Hammer Valley Dam area. We're going to come off the highway. We're going to check the bridges. We're going to start from the small... What? We're going to start from the small pee-pee. <laughs> that can't be coincidence. Like, seriously, we're starting from the small pee, -pee. I literally cannot see one on that map. Does anyone see a knob on there? Like, just a little knob somewhere. I feel like the other guys are playing pranks on me again. But yeah, this is the most important part of any engineer's day job. It's the flowchart that will get you through any problem you'll ever come across. So, uh, you start off, does it work? Yes or no? If it works, don't fuck with it. If it doesn't work, did you fuck with it? If yes, you're an idiot. Does anyone know? If they don't, hide it. But if they do, you poor bastard. <laughs> Can you blame someone else? If you can't, you're in an infinite loop until you find someone to blame. In which case, no problem. And uh, over here you can see some of my favorite books. Of course, I've got four copies of Extreme Structures. <laughs> and ten copies of the third section of the encyclopedia. Because, yeah. Anyway, we're going to reception to get the car keys. Okay, middle elevator this time. Down to floor one. And we're just heading down. So yeah, it's pretty similar to a normal consultancy. I think this thing. It's a bit, a bit posher than what I'm used to. I'll get used to it, I think. Oh, what the? Ah, oh, shit. Out of order? Oh god, look at this. Ah, oh, so we're gonna have to use our engineering skills to get out of this one. So what does an engineer do? It uses this handy instruction in case of emergency. So we've got to hit fuses B2 and B3. There's a little scribble of B there, so I'm gonna guess two and three are those. Which, ah, there you go. And this door is open now, so we can gently squeeze out, being careful not to uh, fall down there. Or do a Resident Evil and get cut in half. Look, look, look down there. That guy, can you see him? That guy's an architect. He works on floor three. Absolute douchebag. Ready? <laughs> no, I wouldn't. <laughs> I'd never do that. Yeah, so we're currently on floor three. We do want to go down the stairs probably just to get down to reception. I'll just give you a little guided tour. So this is a uh, Simchick. Simchick? Simchick. They're planning and development. They're a waste of space really. Overpaid. Uh, oh, there you go. Here's the Jucker Vision Architects. The one I just spat on. Uh, and we got, a, we got a cafe. Like a buffet one. It's pretty nice. Does a job. Oh. We're locked. I think I should be able to use the stairs over here. It's fine. So as usual, the emergency staircase. Uh, please keep it clear. Isn't clear. No way of getting up there. If there's a fire, everyone would die. Especially now the lifts are broken. So just because the building's posh doesn't mean it's any good. Oh. This is the uh, smoking area. I'm not exactly sure where I'm going. <laughs> or why. Oh yes, so I'm going I'm going up here to my uh my beer stash. Oh crap, I, I literally just died. I died at work. <laughs> Oops. It's only it's only Tuesday, so we won't we'll leave those beers where they are. That's more of a Friday Friday afternoon treat that. Alright, so reception's over here. Hold uh Doris man's the front desk. Morning, Mark. Hey Doris. You have a letter from the city authority. It's on the counter. Got a letter, have I? Don't worry, it's not a parking ticket. Looks like it's just some keys. Right. Cheers, Doris. 
What are you up to uh, this evening, Doris? Got any plans? Just wondering, maybe you wanted to go, uh, I don't know. Feeling all right there, Mark? Yeah, I was, I was literally just like, um, just wondering if you wanted to maybe, I don't know. If you're not doing anything else. Like, um, I don't, I'm not doing anything tonight. I, I was just wondering if you were. Uh, are you rolling your eyes? Okay, right, never mind. See ya, Doris. Cheers for the letter. Later. One day. One day she'll be mine. Yes, time to find my car. Oh, wow, there's my car. The trusty pickup truck. We could have had the... Oh, it's not quite an Audi. It's got it's got squares rather than circles. So no no copyright broken there. Yeah, could have had a Novo. Definitely not based on any other cars of similar names. I think that is literally just a Golf and someone's nicked the Volkswagen badge. But uh, but anyway, to my pickup truck. And uh, Am I going to drive this? Oh god, it's left-hand drive. I'm only used to right-hand drive. All right, we're in. Let's uh, try not to mess this up. Right, so we've arrived on site. Let's get out into the fresh air and go take a look around. So uh, in the real life, if you come to site on your own, obviously you've done all the paperwork, the uh, loan working assessments, the other risk assessments. You've got site, you'd let your contact know that you've arrived. So I'll whip my phone out. No, that's camera. So I'll whip my phone out and I'll give Dave from the office a call just to let him know I've arrived. Oh, I am actually, I am literally calling him. I was joking, but fair play game. That's realistic. All right, so my boss just said I've got to take photos of any defects on any structures and any technical documents. So I'll keep that in mind. Right, so here's the bridge. She's looking a bit, a bit old, but not too bad, Nick. Uh, oh, though, what's that down there? Can you see? I, I can see rebar. That shouldn't be out. Stuhlberg is like this bridge. Old, crumbling. Can't really read that. It's really dark. And full of alcoholics. That says alcoholists. Alcoholists? <laughs> is that a word? Alcoholist? Someone that does alcohol? Uh, anyway, this is this is a bit risky, not gonna lie. This doesn't look like the safest of gantries under here. But uh, the old services looking good, Nick. Oh god, that was a bit of a shake. That was really vibrating. I'm quite high up as well. I'm a little bit nervous. Um, that's definitely a defect. Oh god, that is shaky as cars come over. But you can see the top of that pillar. So that's like a bearing. So that allows the bridge to move. Like obviously, as different temperatures and things occur, the bridge will move, expand slightly. Oh god, that's very shaky. Yeah, I kind of want to get off this. That bearing just allows the bridge to like slide very gently. Pretty cool that one over here. Yeah, again, good nick. Not bad. Oh, God, that is... I say the bridge is in good condition. Well, apart from that, it shouldn't be shaking like that. Surely. Surely. Uh, but otherwise, it's not looking too bad. See more bearings at this end? Nice. Okay, so we'll head down here. Oh, look at the mist coming up. Oh, that is lovely. I might have to uh, grab my sandwich and stop for lunch here, I think. This is very nice. Uh, oh, more rusty rebar poking out. Yeah, that's pretty messed up, that is. Very messed up. Uh, I've noticed this. This is like a... I'm guessing it's like a flood warning system, is it? The alarm's on. Should I take a photo of that? No, it didn't seem to care. But uh, looking in here, it seems everything's off. So that measures the water flow. So you, I think you'd expect all these to be turning. So I might flip all these back on, like do them a favour. I know it's not really my job. But, uh, there you go. The alarm's gone off now, and these are all moving. So they're measuring how much water's coming through here. Obviously, as the units go up, the, uh, the things are moving slower. Cool, so this is measuring water. I'm guessing there's some sort of thing downstream. Looks like water's going that way. So I'm guessing we should probably head over there next. That could be the dam they're on about. Uh, let's just check there's nothing dodgy going on back of that bridge. No, I think we've covered it. I think we've covered it. So we shall head down to the dam. Oh God, it's so shaky. <laughs> it's really not good. All right, so that's where I parked my car. Main road above. And then I think we're heading this way towards the dam. So this is like an old toilet and there's flies buzzing around this bucket. What? Oh my God. What are they? Are they turds? Have I picked up a poo? <laughs> I've picked up a poo. Can I throw the poo? Oh, oh it went flying. <laughs> are these actually poos? How far can I throw a poo? <laughs> oh my god. Wait, where's poo? I've I've lost my poo. Oh, there's one. There's a turd. All right, I'm going to launch this out of cars. It's driving by. <laughs> this is just standard standard site visit banter, this is. Uh, find a turd, you throw it onto the live carriageway that you're trying to make safe. Oh god. 
That didn't sound good. Anyway. Back to the job at hand. Alright, so we're heading down here. Looks like that door is barricaded up. Oh, look, down here. Ooh, okay. So, I think that's the culvert where the water enters the dam. That's blocked. So, I'm going to take a photo of that. Yep, I got the noise saying I did a good job there. Oh, I can actually go down. Ooh, this is dangerous. I wouldn't do this on a real site visit. But uh, we're down here now. So that there, that's called a penstock. So it's not completely flush to the bottom. It's slightly up to allow water to come through. And you can raise and lower it to allow more or less flow into your structure. So it looks like there's a little motor there that will raise that up and down. Cool, that's quite interesting. Uh, that's leaking. Does that need a photo? No, apparently not. Leaking aircon is fine, apparently. All right, we're going in. Unlock the padlock. All right, so this looks pretty run down, not gonna lie. Uh, pretty damp looking. There is a fuse here. Lights. Fuses of the main hall's lights are broken. So we'll turn that on. Oh, crap. That's not good. That's now smoking. We probably should have left that. Oh, no, look. Lights did come on down there. Okay, that's fine. Sweet. Uh, oh, look. We've got a cheeseburger that was here many, many years ago. And as you know, McDonald's cheeseburgers, they never biodegrade. So there's flies buzzing around. Hamburger, still completely edible. So I might have a sneaky bite of that later. So I'll take a photo of this. Interesting. That's the maintenance log. Just shows, hasn't been maintained in a long time. Anything through here? Some old rebar hanging around, because you never know. Some old cobwebs hanging around, because you never know. Uh, ah, we got some bolt cutters. And some batteries. Ah, so the batteries are for the flashlight and for my camera. The bolt cutters are to cut bolts. All right, so we'll head down here. Oh, that does not look good, lads. These are like the main sort of turbines. So I'm guessing as the water goes through that pipe, which I'm going to take a photo of, uh, it spins like a fan, which powers these turbines, which creates power, which goes along there into this. Oh, look, we've got... Oh, we've got an error. Uh, not going to lie, I probably wouldn't touch any of this, but as it's a game, I'm going to... Hang on, what one have I turned off? I turned off the wrong one. I think I want to turn off the broken one. So I'll put that one back on. Turn that one off. So for some reason, I'm not just inspecting this. I'm completely in charge as to how much electricity it makes. So uh, I've turned this one off because it's leaking, it seems. And it seems like I did a good thing. No more error warnings. So jobs are good and I saved the day again. Half the country now doesn't have power, but we're all good. All right, F to get my flashlight out. Oh, batteries. Uh, not a lot else in there, it seems. Right, so we can use our bolt cutters on this. Nice. We are now free. So this is the other side of the power plant. This is all the water that's come through the turbines. Nice. I don't think the condition's too bad. I mean, there is some growth in there. Maybe that should be fixed. Nope, game doesn't really care about that. Fair enough. And then we've got these power lines running along here above my head. So I'm guessing we'll just follow these down. Oh, it looks a bit wonky down there. Can you see? There's a bird up there. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Did that bird just get fried? Did anyone see that? <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Wait, what that? Because that's now crocked completely. A bird just got annihilated. It smells like chicken. Okay, I'm going to guess we come back that way. Because this doesn't seem to do anything. Maybe we use that later. Don't know. So, oh yeah. So this is the wonky pole. So that's definitely not good. Let's get a good angle on that. Look how wonky that is. No good at all. Hilarious. Morning Wood Company. Like it. More batteries. Oh, more batteries. I right, got some paperwork here. Matt! Oh my god, they know my name. All right, so we'll take a photo of that. Essentially, the Hydro Plants Company went out of business. Couldn't afford to pay anyone. There's a sawmill down here somewhere that accepts logs or something. And they couldn't anymore. And it, I don't know. It's all disaster. Blah, 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 blah. But yeah, so basically, everyone just buggered off and left the place in a bit of disrepair and we've got to sort out what's wrong. Uh, can't go down that way. Okay, we've got this sort of log stacking thing. I think the sawmill might be up there. Logs come down. Sit here for a bit and then I don't really know. I don't know what happens. There's a chainsaw without a chain. I don't know if that would be much use if I'm honest. Across a bridge. Pretty shit bridge. But uh, I've noticed in the background there's a good bridge coming up. Another toilet there. More flies. I don't see any turds around this one, which is always a good sign. Here we go. Look at this bridge. Look at that. A proper classic truss. Oh, I assume we've got to 
we've got to inspect this one as well. So it looks like there's a railway top of it with a green light on. We'll go underneath because we don't want to get flattened. All right, so it's a, it's a little bit rusty. I wouldn't say... Shit. This is why you shouldn't loan work, people. <laughs> I literally died. I fell off. Yeah, be careful when you're inspecting. Like this, literally, this is literally like good life advice. If ever you're doing anything, like anywhere, don't focus purely on that one thing. Always be aware of your surroundings. Because uh, I didn't notice there's not a barrier around this edge. So very dangerous. Make sure you're in a safe position and then have a little look. And then looks fine as you were. <laughs> but yeah, as I was saying before I fell to my death, this, although it looks rusty, you can see the rust is sort of like surfaced rust. Like the the original shape of the beam and everything is all intact. Doesn't look like it's lost any cross-sectional area or anything. So I'd say that looks fine, if I'm honest. Oh, look down there. I think that might be the sawmill. And then the logs come down. Yeah, so the logs come floating down the river. I think they enter the sawmill through there. But I think they were complaining they hadn't had any logs. And I think it turns out it's because the dam company, they've gone bust. All right, so we've come to this signaling pole. I assume... These are the light for this bridge. So I can, because I, I don't know, I would have thought all of this would be arranged in advance. Maybe because I'm doing an inspection of the bridge, I'm allowed to turn this off. There you go, I've turned it to red, which means I can now safely inspect this bridge properly. You wouldn't ever do this on your own. You'd always have a spotter with you. So if I had to go over this side for whatever reason, there'd be someone watching out and they'd give me a call if a train was coming. But uh, I don't know, maybe this is like, this isn't the UK, it's a bit different rules over here. Bridge not looking in bad nick, if I'm honest. Don't know if I can go down here and check these foundations. Oh, here we go, here we go. That's not good, more rebar poking out. But actual bridge, I think, looks okay. Again, not a bridge inspector myself, so I'm only going off what I've heard from others. Oh, so there's like a little crossing here. Quite a rural area. Uh, we'll head up here. Oh no, we've got a we've got a collapsed tree. <gasps> Good thing I turned the bloody lights off, because look at that. So every photo I take uses battery up. Right, if only that chainsaw had a chain on it, then I could save the day. Technically I have saved the day because I made the old uh, light red. But I am actually going to have a look through the tunnel. So I assume as it's sort of within my scope, I should probably see if the tunnel's in good nick. Oh shit, oh bollocks. Ah, do you hear that? Do you hear that? Get out of the way, get out of the ah, Get out! Ah. I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. Oh god. Oh, it did stop. It stopped because I saved the day. Oh my god, would that have flattened me if I didn't do the red light? Hey, drive. Yeah, so uh, so I turned the lights to red because uh, there's a tree down up there. You would have You would have ruined it. I mean, here is a strong word, but if you want to use it, it is quite accurate, I guess. Yeah, yeah, here's my boss's number. If you give him a call, let him know. That would be appreciated. Remember, I saved your life, technically, and all your passengers. Uh, anyway, i got to go. i got other people to save, other inspections to make. Yep, no worries. No, no, please, please don't call me a hero. I, it's ju I'm just doing my job. I'm just doing my engineering job. This gully is filled with crap. It's not going to work. Someone needs to clean it. So I'm going to take a photo of that, because that's definitely bollocks. Yep, typical game does not care. That gully will not work. So it's full of debris, water ain't getting in there. So one point deducted game. You should have known better. Oh, so here we go, we're at the Hammer Valley Dam. Let's go in. Again, this building looks a bit ropey, not gonna lie. Pretty run down, doesn't look like it's been used for a while. Ah, I think we're at the log chute. So I think the logs come in. Well, I think they just probably flow past, but uh, Appears to be shut, so no water is going anywhere. That needs to be open, I think. Don't know what this is. It's like a toaster. I've got a toaster. Where can I put a toaster? Oh, look. It was actually a fuse for the engine. Uh, probably need one for the brakes as well. Where? Shall we have a look? Ah, here we go. Here we go. Bung that in there. So that's the elevator, so I can flip that. that. And I fixed the elevator that I didn't even realize was broken. I'm just such a problem solver. Here it is, the elevator. Before we go, we'll just have a little look. Oh, look! The dam is crocked. That's a big-ass crack as well. That really ain't good. Because that's not a small dam. That's like goldeneye size dam. All right, so we'll head down the elevator. This is a bit... Oh, God, that was very shaky. I think it's all right, though. Pretty dark down here. Could do with the old lights being turned on. 
Here we are. Bit of light, which is always good. Oh no, the, the elevator's... Ah, shit, I know. Okay, technically we would call that a near miss. Which means I'd phone up my boss straight away and tell him I'm getting the hell out of here. It's too dangerous. But it doesn't sound like that's going to happen. You can stop corruption. Oh, and a ban the beer. We can't ban the beer, surely. What is this hellhole? <laughs> anyway, as we're stopping corruption, I'm going to stop the video there, guys. Uh, enjoying this. Just let me know if you want to see more of this engineering simulator. It's uh, pretty good, actually. I'm getting into this. Being a hero. Hero of engineering. But yeah, as we saw some bridges today, peace, love, and bridges. I'll catch you next time. Bye, guys.